I spoke to you a couple of days ago about how Paul says, you were darkness, now you are light in the Lord. A dramatic change of identity. And we spoke about the importance of identity before activity. We need to understand the radical thing that God's done for us before we try living the Christian life. Christianity isn't us trying harder. It's not learning some new rules. It's a radical life change because we are in Christ. And when he was put to death, my old self was put to death with him. I died with him. I've been raised with him to newness of life. And Paul says, now you're light in the Lord. He uses other imagery also to talk about this radical change. And one of them is that he says, you used to be slaves of sin. You used to be. Sin was master of you. Sin had control of you. Sin led you to making decisions. It dominated you. You were its slave. He says, but now, now, you are slaves of righteousness. Again, it's not an exhortation. It's not an appeal. It's a statement. It's good news. This is who you now are. You are a slave of righteousness. It's rather like you're being in the slave market, okay? So you're a slave. So your master, sin, says, come on, slave. Where are we going? We're going to the market, okay? And then he goes. He says, well, stand there. Okay, I'll stand here. Then righteousness walks through the market and says, hmm, I think I might buy you. Oh, I'm a slave of sin. Yeah, I'll pay the full redemption price. I'll buy you out of your slavery. Well, will you? Okay. Well, he pays the full price. Okay, I'm not, I'm not a slave of sin anymore. Then righteousness says, no, 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 you're my slave now. Come on, here we go. And now you're in bondage to righteousness. Righteousness is your master. Righteousness is where you feel comfortable. Righteousness is your new identity. You're a slave of righteousness. That's why we feel so bad when we do sin. It's foreign territory to us now. It's not where we belong. It's not that we're still slaves of sin trying to improve ourselves. God has changed us radically. And we need to start thinking differently and then we start acting differently. But it starts with identity before activity. It starts with knowing before doing. God bless you through another day.